What is up YouTube? It's Malorn here and I'm here with another great video for you guys today. So today we are, um, we're currently in Colossus Boulevard and you'll notice in front of me we've got some gobblers. Now, this is a monstrology video so if you don't like monstrology then you know you, I have a whole bunch of other videos but I do recommend watching this one because you never know you might find something interesting about it. Um, I know that a lot of people have been, you know, uh, wondering why there's not more that you can do with Monstrology, that's a big thing with a lot of people. It's not the activity itself, it's just the rewards for some people aren't really worth it. And that, I, you know, I completely understand. Maybe they should add some more rewards like transformations, that's an idea that's been pitched. Um, personally, I'd have to, you know, sit down and think to myself a bit to come up with some ideas on my own. But, um, people have been pitching ideas all over the place, and as of now, KI hasn't, you know, added any kind of, any, any new incentives to do Monstrology, but I personally enjoy it mostly for the housing guests, and the summon TC, because of the Monstro Dome. And because I'm a collector, I don't usually use the summon TC, I just, I collect them. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be getting all of the gobblers in Colossus Boulevard. I'm going to turn them all into housing guests and summon trigger cards. So we are obviously we're going to start with the gobbler scavengers. I don't need I don't need I, I basically just need this and that and where is it there there we go. All right. So these dudes. I have the, um, it's not from Monstrology, it's actually from a pack, but it's called the, like, Gobblorian Guard or something. It's one of the housing NPCs that you get from the different packs. Um, I believe it's from the Empyrean one? Don't quote me on that, because I'm not sure. You know, I'm not, not entirely certain on that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm not currently using the, the, uh, Sorry, the elixir. <laughs> wow. I'm not currently using the elixir. I figured, you know, they're pretty easy to beat. I probably don't need that today. If it was a boss, it would be a bit different. But these are just little mob dudes. I'm turn those sound effects. Uh, Alright. Oh, yeah, that was a bit loud. <laughs> okay, so we got three from each. So I should get 6 from each battle, and I'll probably need about 25 animus from each creature to finish my goal. I've always found the gobblers fascinating, because, I don't know, I've always had like a gobbler obsession, you know? Some people like the ninja pigs, and the others, they like the samurai. I like the gobblers, especially because in uh, Vampiria, there was that, I don't know if you guys remember that side quest, that it was one that gave like a lot of gold, but basically uh, the guy thought that he, or that his species was like an evolved version of the gobblers, and that, you know, if they kept going the way that they were, that their species was going to devolve back into the gobblers. Let me see, the Alfoy, the Alfoy guys. I love that quest so much, and it's... It, it's funny too because if you think about it enough, the gobblers they could definitely be like a smaller version of the Alfoy. You know, they look very, very similar. The only difference really is that the Alfoy actually have you know a, a tidbit of intelligence. There's a little bit of smarts, you know, smart there. They don't just go eating everything. But it, it's also kind of funny because <laughs> in that exact quest, he like turns into this. Like, you, you end up having to fight him because he turns into this, like, evil, eat-everything type person. Like, you basically watch him devolve, but he doesn't actually devolve. He just starts acting like a gobbler almost. I don't know, I love that quest. And I love the gobblers and the Alfoy and all that. It's kind of fun because they don't actually confirm it. They don't say, hey, the gobblers are a devolved version. But at the same time they do kind of point in that direction without completely admitting it, so I, I think that's kind of cool. And whenever I first started playing this game, I specifically remember as a kid, I liked that the gobblers, um, they all seem, I don't know, they all, they all seem to have their own kind of job. Like, they've got the princes, you've got the gobbler scavengers that kind of run around everywhere. I like the names of them, you know, gobbler scavenger, 
uh, Gobbler, Muncher, that kind of a thing, Gobbler, Gorger, I freaking loved that as a kid. That was like my favorite thing ever. Alright. Let's see. And now I can have like my own little army of them in the castle. <laughs> okay, Wizard City. Gobbler Gorger, or Gobbler Gorger. Okay, so I need 20 of them to make a housing guest, and 25, or no, so I need 30 all together, and the moment looks like I have 10. Wait, that's the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I already have enough, I think. Yeah. Create the summon monster. And then create the housing guest. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, next. Let's see here. Next one down the line. I can't. K, okay, I need to like. Because I don't think the Alfoy, I don't think they count. I wish they did count, because then I could go and get me some of them too. I really want those guys in my castle. Alright, the Gobbler Scouters. Let's get... Oh, this is going to be a challenging one because you've got the little evil snowman ever and I've got to kind of time this uh, the best I can. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this one's going to be a bit challenging. Simply because the evil snowmen are probably going to end up in each battle, so I'm pro I'm likely only going to get three per battle, which is kind of annoying. But luckily they're not the strongest creatures in the world, so it still shouldn't take very long. Alright, Gobbler Scouter Animus, maybe if I come over here I'll have some better luck. No, no, they're... Freaking evil snowmen, man. Yeah, I'm probably not... Uh, I'm not going to be able to escape them. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't know. The snowmen kind of bore me, though. Because, I mean, they are kind of, you know, spread throughout certain areas. But at the same time, I just I feel like they're... I don't know. Or are they just in Colossus Boulevard? I think they might just be here. I don't remember seeing uh, those little snowman dudes anywhere else. I wonder. Okay, can this one be timed? Like, can I actually maybe pull this up? No, wait, did I? Yeah! Woo! Sorry, headphone users. Alright. Okay, we got this. Yeah. Oh yeah! Got us some Gobbler Scouters. So, what do we get? That's like six animals right there, because I think it's two battles with these guys, right? So that's six, six, so we have twelve so far. Twelve animus. Ooh, and I got a Gobbler Treasure Card. Um, real quick, go ahead and check where we are with that, because it seems like I already have a bit of animus from each of these guys. I think that may have been from whenever I was going around to trying to get them all in this thing to begin with. Uh, okay, so we have 15 right now. Alright, come over here. Oh yeah, oh baby, oh baby, oh yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Alright. I like that. I don't like the snowmen. They are like the most inconvenient things in the world. <laughs> They're so terribly placed. Just to annoy me. Ah, oh, no critical. You suck. Oh well. I, I don't think their 235 damage puts up much of a challenge. See, you got that guy. He's literally eating the freaking roof. Alright, the al you never see one of those little Alfoy dudes doing that stuff. <laughs> And he's very happy about it. He's just like, this is the best tasting room I've ever had. 
Uh, I got the snowman again. No! What? No! What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I? No! No! Why? You freaking snowman! You are literally a snowman. Like your name, you live up to your name. Alright, <laughs> you live up to your name. Ah! Uh, oh, I still got three. Okay. Oh! 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 I was so worried for a second. Still, though, that is kind of annoying that I have to use Tempest again. You know? I think if they release, like, a, I don't know, a snowman one, I don't think they will. I don't have very many snowmen in the spiral to begin with. I'm serious. I think the evil snowmen, I don't know if I'm right about this, but I'm pretty sure they're the only ones in the game that are snowmen. I Right off the top of my head, I can't remember any others. Um, but if there are, you know, if they did release, like, a Snowman Monstrology spell, I probably would... I mean, I'd get it anyways, just to have it, because you don't need for any points. You get them with gold, like you do with gardening spells. But I probably would actually use it, just so that I could take the Snowman and lock his happy, jolly butt up in, like, one of those little jailed cells, glitch him in there, and then, like, block it off with walls and put a breadcrumb in there and attach him to it so he can't get out. Yeah. Just to get my revenge. No! No! Why? Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Well, at least they're in the same, in the same round this time, so I don't have to hit again. I could have sworn that the KI said it's like you get less, or you get more Montrology XP if you finish the battle in one hit. Pretty sure that's what it was, so I don't know why I'm getting three from this. Or why I got three from the last one. It should have been like two Montrology. Or two enemies. It's weird. Slightly confusing. Let me see how I'm doing on that, by the way. I have so many Gobbler treasure cards after this. I sell a lot of those. Because I'm almost filled up on treasure cards at the moment. Yeah, so I've got enough. Let me check how many treasure cards I've got. Uh, 976. Alright. And that's not even all of the treasure cards I have. This, that's just how many I have like on this wizard. My collection is really freaking big. You know, I've probably got well over 50 Calypso treasure cards. I'll have to show it off one of these days. I'll show off my treasure cards. Uh, collection. So I do have enough for these guys now. Alright, let's move on to easier things after this one. Uh, there we go. And there we go. Gobbler Scavenger, and now we got a Gobbler Scout. Okay. I think the next one over here, the red guy, is the Gobbler, Gobbler Gorgers. Okay. Gobbler Muncher for a sec. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Things can't ever go my way. <laughs> this guy's got his fist up. Gobbler Gorgers looks like he's ready to, ready to castle around my man. Ready to fight! He's ready to go! Put your fingers on my head and let your toes on care. Ah. Don't know what that was. Wait. Ah. This way. Yeah. I swear, if I somehow manage to still end up fighting a gobbler scouter over here, I am not going to be a happy camper. That would be so annoying. I, funny thing is, I've got the perfect castle for these guys, too. The gobblers. I mean, I've got, like, almost all the castles in the game, so. I think I'm missing, like, 10 or 11 castles, but 
currently got 31, and I still have room for one more before I need to buy some more elixirs. I think, if I remember right, there's anywhere between 40, uh, 45 to 50 castles. Definitely over 45 now because of the um, the ones in Mirage, which I just recently got a few of. Now that I've finished all of my Mirage faction badges, I can uh, start buying those elixirs and start buying up more of those because I've got like four of them already from Mirage. And um, I'm going to be using the Mirage castles as a uh, honestly just storage. Um, because the mon or my little monstrology housing guests, I've got to have somewhere to put them, so I'm going to use them for that. And with the uh, elixir that gives you more space in your castles, because you can go to like 350, you know, there's like seven different, um, seven different mirage factions in your castles, seven times 350. Now you know how many of these things I can store. <laughs> yeah. Although, to be honest, it's kind of a matter of room, too, like floor space, because the castles or the, the Mirage ones are not very big, so it would be kind of difficult to store them all in those, even seven of them. I could probably figure something out, but I'd, maybe I would probably end up start glitching them. Like, I would uh, glitch some in, in the middle of the air and stuff like that. Just walk into the castle, look up, and all of a sudden you just see like a gobbler walking above your head. That would be so weird. No, but I'm actually going to use these guys for uh, for an actual castle, not just stick them in storage. I think the fun ones are probably going to be an Azteca. A cenote, that's going to be a fun one. I'll do a video on those. Probably do it separately, though, instead of like... What I'm doing right now with all of the gobblers in one video. That one I'll probably do each individual creature separately because, I mean, they have a lot more health, so the video is probably going to take a little bit longer to do. And my recorder only goes for an hour. I just used a little Windows 10 recorder. It comes with it. And I fell in love with it because it's great, you know, Windows 10 gives me. Before, I was going through all of these different screen recorders and stuff, trying to find the right one, and all of a sudden Windows 10 was like, Hey, yo, you have a uh, game recorder now, by the way. Uh, you does all this fancy stuff, too, yo. Try it out, yo. And I'm like, alright, yo, I'll try it out. It's pretty good, actually. All the other screen recorders, um, I've had problems with this one so far, not really. It doesn't seem to pick up any kind of, like, if I'm on Discord chat with a friend, it doesn't pick up their voice, which is kind of annoying. But other than that, it's not too bad. Alright, after this, I think I should have enough of the Gobbler Gorger. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a little bit more than that. Alright, let's see what the next one is. Should be the munchers, I think. Oh great, I'm gonna contend with the freaking snowman again. Maybe if I go all the way down. Nope. Well, I mean, actually it's kind of a two birds with one stone type situation over here. Get the gobbler gluttons and the munchers at the same time. And then I can move on to the princess.
Well, that was lucky that he respawned at that exact moment. Alright. I also like this, that they seem to be different colors and sizes. Like the water creatures that uh, KI puts in the game, they all look really, really similar, but the gobblers have a little bit more variety than the uh, average creature that KI makes. These guys are like green, they got a little bit of purple, some pink, some are kind of, you know, chubby, some are thin as a twig, like this guy looks like a freaking pole. Inappropriate jokes aside, um, yeah, quite a bit of variety. No! 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 Why did he have to walk away? Ah, uh, and I got a snowman. Well, since I don't want to use two Tempest, I guess I will blade. It's a little bit of overkill coming up. Oh, oh my. We should be good on the munchers. No, not quite. Nine more. Find it funny how the um, when the munchers die, they kind of they shrink. It looks like like it looks like they're freaking shrinking, man. Eh, I'm not able to man. I wish these little snowmen would go away. No one loves you, yo. That might be why you were evil. You had daddy issues. Some serious daddy issues. I guess Frosty left you guys when you were young. Decided to run away to the North Pole to meet Santa. Daddy loves Santa more than you. Oh. Make the Ooh, nice. I want him to cry in the corner because I hurt his feces. Alright. With all the steam in freaking Wizard City, you'd think that this place would be like the most polluted thing in the world. Honestly, looking up at the sky though, it's freaking purple. So... <laughs> I'd say it's not too far off. Did I? Okay. I was like, did I just get two evil snowmen? I should have enough of these guys now, because I only needed nine more. And I can go after the, uh, what are those other guys called? Not the, not the gorgers.
Alright. Oh, got another one up there eating the freaking roof. <laughs> Must be tasty. Ah, the gluttons. How gluttonous. Oh, really? Bye bye, gobble. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. Alright, this last one is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Maybe. What happens if we go all the way over here? Uh, doesn't seem like that actually does anything. Just got out of that area. Oh, I think I just started running backwards. That might be why. Yeah. Might need to go a little bit farther out this way. Maybe run into a few more. Yeah, there they are. Okay. So yeah, I may still have to deal with the freaking... Uh, ooh. ooh! This is nice. Make them a lot easier to get here. These are the uh, gobbler munchers. So I need nine more. Tooth pain's kicking in again. Sorry, guys. That's why I'm getting kind of quiet. I'll have to take something for it later, I guess. Goblin Glutton. Alright, I think that should be enough for the Goblin Gluttons. What do we got? Yeah. Right on point two. And now for the princes. These are the barons, I guess, technically, because the prince is inside that big castle.
Perhaps that's not gonna kill him. Oh, yes it will. I underestimate my wizard's strength. Alright guys, I am sorry, but I will be back in like two seconds. Oh, that tastes awful. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. I just realized I'm doing this at like 1 a.m. I love how I always end up doing my recordings this early in the morning. It's so weird. Wow, I didn't expect that stuff to work that fast. That's odd. Yeah, I think a little bit of it may have melted in my mouth, I might be why. You feel it coming down? Okay. How many of these do I need? Because I know he's a boss, so I think I need like 30 for a freaking housing guest. That's not going to be fun. But, again, I said I was going to do this without elixirs. I don't know. I guess elixirs couldn't hurt. Hmm. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and get an elixir. Probably could have done this earlier, but hey. Whatever. It's somewhere in here. There it is. Plus it helps with the uh, Animus badge. Because you need a lot of freaking Animus for those things. I don't know why you need so much, but... I uh, Like, I wonder how many people have actually gotten the uh, biggest Animus badge there is. And I think that's like 10,000 Animus. I wonder how many people have actually made it there. I know that I probably will a lot faster than some other people, because, you know, not everyone does Monstrology as much as I do. In fact, at the very beginning of this video, I pointed out a few reasons why uh, some people may not want to. Um, but, you know, I wonder how many people have gotten there. Surely one or two have. Maybe a hundred, two hundred. Then again, judging by... Um, KIs, because in one of their live videos, they uh, gave away the statistic for like how many people have actually caught every fish in the spiral, and that was only like one or two hundred people. You know, not many people go for these kind of challenges anymore. You know, they don't try and do the super extreme stuff. You know, there for a while, um, when the badge first came out, one in a million, when it was actually challenging, when it was hard to get that was something that everyone wanted to do. You know, you had, I know for a fact that I had a lot of people asking me to help help them with that. I was one of those people at one point. I ended up um, getting like one or two people to help me. And then after that, once I started leveling up, you know, I could do it on my own. You know, it started becoming really, really easy to do. Um, Especially if you knew how to use polymorphs to help out, you know, you could do it solo, you didn't actually need anyone with you. Um, and you could, I did a video on a uh, 45 damage wand spell that I made do a million damage. There was actually one other guy before me that did that, and the video was from like 2009 or 2010 or something along those lines. Really old video, and uh, he ended up doing 45, or 1 million damage with a 45 or I think it was well above 1 million because it was at a time where 1 million damage, it wasn't the limit. There was a time when that was the case. 
and he ended up doing way, way, way more than that. And in reality, if one million damage wasn't the limit, people doing one in a million or getting one in a million today would most likely be doing so much more than a million damage. I wonder if I have that one. I think I do, probably. Bear and staff of tension. Yeah, but I ended up doing a video like that, and then you had Elixir of Vitae or Vitae that came out, and I don't hear about that badge very much anymore, but when it did first come out, it was all the buzz, you know, everyone, it's still the hardest badge in the game to get. Not the longest, there are badges that, you know, they're a lot harder in terms of actual, you know, actually being able to focus on something for that long. Um... First thing that comes to mind, you know, 10,000 Animus. Um, you've got some of the pet badges that just recently got released, you know, collecting pets, uh, hatching with pets, that kind of a thing. Um, and then another one that comes to mind are the new undead badges that, you know, you go out and you fight the undead. They go up to, I think, if I remember right, it's 10,000 undead is the highest badge. So in terms of actually being able to focus on something extreme for a large period of time, those take the cake, but actual planning and actually trying to accomplish a uh, challenging goal damage or heal or, you know, battle-wise, I think Elixir Vitae actually takes the cake. So. Alright, I should have enough from uh, Baron Rotunda. Yeah. Wait. Nope. I have enough to create the housing guest. I think to keep this video a little bit shorter, I'll probably just do the housing guests for now for the uh, barons and the prince. So just for the bosses, I'll just do the housing guests, and then I'll come back and get the treasure cards later. Pain's back a bit, I guess I'll have to wait until it actually starts kicking in. I wish we could get that guy up there, the actual king, to be nice. Alright. 
sadly this is going to take like 30 minutes before the what I took kicks in. Okay. We got this. <laughs> I like my gobblers too much to give up now. I mean, obviously, I'd just come back. It's not like monstrology is something that you can, you know, that you, you're not ever able to do again once you start. It's a 1.11 in the morning. Triple one. I still need to change my pet name, because this is a new pet. That's just the name that the game chose for it. I'm going to change it to uh, Lord Chico or something Chico. I'll probably play around with the uh, newer names now that they've released a few. It'll definitely be something Chico though, because I name all my pets like that, that way whenever I, you know how you say good boy or good girl, instead I just type good Chico when I say that, because it sounds cool. I like it. I like it. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, nice, we got a pet. Snow serpent. Pretty sure I have like two of those already, but hey. I think it's four battles total per boss to get one housing desk. So, with the elixir on. Believe me, without the elixir, this video would take well over an hour to make. I'm going to go ahead and check on those, uh, Animus. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Then Scobbles then. Go ahead and create that housing desk. Move on to the next one. And the last one, mind you. It's all the way across the thing there. Sup, Kirby? Say you, Kirby. Love you, Kirby. Oh, there's no gobbler up on that one. Oh, there he is. I guess he went roof hopping like Spider-Man. 
spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. I used to love Family Guy when I was a kid. I don't really like it anymore. I don't, I don't know. When I was a kid, though, like all the, the little, you know, fart jokes and stuff, I was just in love with that kind of stuff. Now it's I'm a bit of a bit of a dark person when it comes to humor. I've got a bit of a dark sense of humor. Toss a light joke out every now and then. But honestly, what I like to laugh at is the dark stuff. The world is spinning in circles in a black hole. No, literally, actually, it's supposed to be scientifically proven. There's some scientific or some something like that. You know, the uh, Milky Way is spinning around like 3,000 miniature black holes or something. And supposedly the only reason it doesn't get sucked in is because of the mass or something along those lines, like the black holes or... I don't know. You can actually look it up, though. I'm sure it'll explain it better than I can. Especially when I'm pretty sure that I'm officially... <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna go there. Like I'm not. I don't know. The DEA might end up knocking on my door, even though it's. I do have a prescription for him, so I'd be like, oh, I'm good, guys. I'm good, y'all. Okay, what's up, Baron? Let's do this. Upload this video, and all of a sudden the CIA is there. Like, oh, okay. So, what's up? CIA, open up. Either that's a chicken leg, or it's like one of those, uh, not corn on the cob, what are those things called? They look like a bread sausage popsicle, basically, that's that's what they are. Um, it's like the bread wrapped around the popsicle, what are, uh, the bread wrapped around the sausage, what are those called? Not, not, uh, not the little, it's got the stick in it. Corn dog, corn dog, those things. Oh, for a second, I thinking of taking a blanket but that's the ones that are like wrapped up in a biscuit or a bagel or I don't know. Those are good though, I love picking them in a blanket, especially when they're like really freaking greasy. They're so much better that way. Alright. I kind of like this. I don't like the entire image, but I do like that part. Like Merle saw us fighting the actual shadows. Although I find it interesting that they decided to um, put Grandfather Spider as the creature that we're fighting. It does kind of make me wonder if this is, or if uh, this is going to be the last main arc. Like I feel like if they don't completely shut the game down, and I don't think they will. I've you know been a hardcore um, speaker about that. I don't think that they are going to completely end the game, but I feel like, you know, if they stop making main worlds, they might, uh, release smaller, you know, uh, side worlds from here on out after they finish this, uh, third arc. So Wisteria type stuff, because they need a new one badly. They've done main worlds for, I think, five years straight now, minus Aquila. I don't really count that one, because it's just dungeons, but you know. And it's not really its own world, it's just a separate area of Wizard City. Alright, how are we doing on that? On the animus? Uh, Twelve more. Twelve more to go. So two more battles. It's like this freaking mosquito just flying around in front of me. It's really annoying, too. Like, I want to swat it, but at the same time, I don't. Because it's not only annoying, but it like, makes me focus a little bit. I've always liked background noise. Like, some people are annoyed by flies, and some people, you know, they don't like the sound of lightning and stuff. But I freaking love that. You know, I like the sound it makes. 
No, if there's a fly around me and it's like buzzing around my head and stuff like that, because, you know, I live down in the south and then those things during the summer are everywhere. You cannot escape flies. All right, you will have a fly swatter next to you for the rest of the season. Next three months, roughly, there will be a fly swatter sitting next to you, wherever you are. All right, you'll walk around with the fly swatter going to Walmart. <laughs> Not actually, but, you know. Um, but the noise they make is, I don't know, if it's like in the background, a few feet behind me, it's kind of helps me focus a bit, but when it's, they're like buzzing around my head and stuff, it's kind of annoying. Because they will, if you take a fly off, they will like bug the crap out of you. Like if you swatted a fly, prepare to chase it down and actually kill it, or at least until it will eventually give up, but... Now those things, they get pretty aggressive sometimes. Alright. Like, they ain't afraid to fight back. <laughs> of course, their idea of fighting back is pretty similar to a cockroach. They just fly at you and they don't even don't really do anything else. I haven't seen a cockroach in a very long time, though. Like, if I go on a midnight walk or something, occasionally I'll see one running around on the sidewalk, but that's about it. And those are just those are just the big old water roaches there. Alright, this should be the last one. It's a freaking fifty minute video. I did not expect it to be this long. I do apologize guys. I didn't I did not see that coming at all. Didn't think this was gonna be almost an hour. I mean, I it's honestly thinking back now, though, a lot of my videos end up taking roughly an hour. I guess I'm just a, the kind of guy that makes you know really long, really long YouTube videos. At least you know you get nice and juicy content. <sighs> juicy. Five seven seven six. Four seven six one two five. Mm. Should have the housing guests ready now. Yeah. Alright. Housing guests? Okay. We got Baron Greebly, Baron Rotunda. So now we are going to go to one of my castles, and I am going to show these to you before we go off. Alright. Probably take them to the Polarian shipwreck. That's probably where I'm going to end up putting them. Have a bunch of gobblers wandering around the shipwreck. I'm probably going to do the same with the, uh, what is it, with the polar bears, probably put them here too, because they're both from cold climates. Okay, so we're going to come over here off to the side, they're going to be in that castle over there, I knew that I put that there for a reason, I just, up until this point I didn't really know what that was. For those of you guys who don't know, I am a collector, so, you know, throughout all of my castles I have a whole bunch of, you know, rare items and hard items to get. Not just castle items, but like wands and pets and all sorts of stuff. I don't limit my collections at all. So, there's Baron Gravely. That's what he looks like. Just kind of sits in his butt. Lazy. Baron Rotunda. Also sits on his butt. I guess that's kind of stuff you get to do when you're the prince or the bear. Gobbler glutton. Go, go, go. He's got like these disgusting looking spots. And then a gobbler gorger. Gobbler muncher. 
Here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the pet names on for this one. Right. There we go. What? Huh? Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's kind of an annoying part too. I just realized you... Yeah, you can't have more than 50 of these in each castle. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so, there goes my dream of like 350 of these in each of my castles. On the other hand, I do have a lot of different ways that I can store these. I've gotten really good at the storage stuff, so that won't be a problem. Gobbler Scavenger. Gobbler Scouter. And then, of course, last but not least... Prince Gobblestone. Got all the gobblers now. Makes me happy. Full collection right here, y'all. Full collection. And then the next one will be the undead dinosaurs and the cenote. Like I said, I'm I am gonna do videos on those, but they will be um they will be separate, so individual creatures. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe for more amazing content. Uh, there will be a lot of monstrology in the future because personally, I really, really like the feature in the game. I like the activity. It's fun. Um, and I like being able to do this. Collect, like, different um, sets of creatures. I love that. So, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoy. And leave a like, comment, subscribe, drop your opinion. What do you think of monstrology? Um, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Peace out.